all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you please invite your friends and let us do the good work for today um as you see the title of my video that not a single muslim he knows what allah is it's very funny that we hear muslims keep talking about god allah Inshallah, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah. But not a single one of them knows who is this God Allah. Even they admit that their prophet did not speak to Allah, did not meet Allah, and he never heard Allah. So who is this God Allah? My Skype is open for any Muslim who he like to share with us his knowledge about his God, who he called him Allah, <clears throat> which I find very funny that even Muslims do not even know what the name Allah mean. If you ask any Christian, any Jew, any, you know, I mean, what is the, what is the mean of your, your God name? He will tell you. The only ones and the only religion who the followers of it do not know what Allah mean is or let us say what the name of their God mean is Muslims and here this is telling us that there is something wrong about this cult there is something very wrong something very stupid if you cannot tell me tell me even what is the name of your God mean I mean what what do you know about your religion what in, what do you know about your God what do you know nothing so how you invite me to a religion you yourself you do not know a muslim he just texted me he said i challenge you to produce a quran like this hmm. i mean look how silly Look how silly the challenge is. Call me. Call me and let us see. Let us see if you will answer. <coughs> he will not answer. Uh, he will call him five minutes uh, five minutes each he won five minutes each he will put conditions <laughs> yeah. Coward. Let us call him again, the coward. He is not answering. Dawa to Tawheed. His name is Dawa. Dawa to Tawheed. But but the potato, he don't even dare to answer. And look, he's calling me names now. First, he texts me saying, a challenge to debate. A challenge to debate you run away <laughs> five minutes each challenge to produce a chapter like this I mean look they are talking to themselves call me I uh, call me Abdul call me you are the one who is infidel you are the one who is pagan you are the one who kiss black stones we don't pagan people Black stone kissers. Anyway, ignore him. He sounds like a kid. Forget about him. Anyway, guys, let us invite our friends. Only, only if you are. Only if you are a Muslim, please. Hello? Hmm. 
Okay, I think the audio is not working. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Okay, forget. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Don't call me unless you are a Muslim, please. Who is Allah? Very single question, very simple question. Uh, we are not making it complicated. Don't tell me that you worship God, but yet you do not know who is He. Who is Allah? It's very funny that the Muslims, they call others pagans. When they are the one who kiss a stone, they bow down in front of a stone and they believe it's a holy stone. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Okay, I have no time for this. Don't call me again. I'll block you. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? You know, one more time, I will try to call him. Potato coward. Get lost. Coward like your prophet. They beg me. They, you know, we want to debate you. We would challenge you. And when we call them to talk to them, they chicken. The same as Shabir Ali. He said to me, he want to debate me, but he is busy with his PhD, and that was what after he agreed to debate me. And one day, someone asked him. Why you don't debate Christian friends? He starts saying, you know, there is some people have high leak and I don't know, like, you know, and like he's being supposed to, um, like, okay, Christian Prince maybe is higher than me and he's so, um, supposed to be in sarcastic, you know? Yeah, right. You don't even know how to say a prophet name correctly. You do not know how to say your prophet name correctly. I challenge him to tell me what is the name of his prophet. Islam is based on something called taqiyya and taqiyya is legalized lying If you don't understand what taqiyya is take a snapshot and see hello Hello, yes, my friend. How are you? What's up man? You are a Muslim? Yes, I'm Muslim. Okay. Well, our topic today is who is Allah? Do you know? One is God. What does that mean? I'm not asking you what you do for a living. I'm saying who is he? Your God, Allah. Who is he? <laughs> Allah is just the Arabic word for God. That's false. I am an Arab, and we don't use Allah as a word for God. We have the word God, Rab. No, Rab means Lord. No, Rab means, you want to show you from the Quran, your God, Allah himself using the word Rab as God? Rabbul Alameen means Lord of the world. Thank you very much. You just chose for me, Rabbul Alameen, the God of the world. Lord of the world. Yeah. But, okay, what the word Allah mean? Well, Allah means uh, Al-Ilah. Really? God. Who said that to you? Al-Ilah, that's mean he is unknown God. Al-Ilah, that's mean uh, he is, uh, uh, you know, a God. There's many gods. How many gods you have? He mean, it means he is the God. Okay, wait, well, hold on, my friend. When you say Shahada, don't you say there is no La ilaha illa Allah? 
Yeah. Okay, so then why you don't say that ilaha illa uh, ilaha? You say that ilaha illa Allah. So ilaha is different word from the word Allah. It's not the same word. It's the same word. It's not. Who told you that? Okay, show me the reference. Where do you get this from? You see, I, I spoke just a few weeks ago to a doctor from Al Azhar University. He said, Allah, the first one who said that is an Arab guy, and we do not know what that does mean. So it looked like you know better. Isn't it the Arab before Muhammad? They worship a God. His name is Allah. No, the Arabs before Muhammad, they worship the idols in the Kaaba. Thank you very much. And that is one of them, Allah. Isn't it the father of Muhammad? His name is Abdullah. How his name is Abdullah, but he's not a Muslim. You just said to me that the Arab before Muhammad, they worship idols. Okay. Your prophet name, your prophet father name is Abdullah. How he became Abdullah, unless Abdullah mean a slave of an idol, his name is Allah. You are the one who told me, remember, that before Muhammad, Arab worship idols. After Muhammad, Arab don't worship idols. So whoever before Muhammad, he worship idols. Muhammad, he never saw his father, he never met him. Actually, according to Islamic books, Muhammad was born four years after his father. Which is very normal in the Middle East, you know, looks like it's very normal. So, what do you say? Um, before, uh, before Muhammad was 43 years old and he got the first ayat of the Quran. I don't know what this has to do with my topic, my friend. So, like, you, you just jump all over what we said about Muhammad, his father is Abdullah, but yet he don't believe in the God of Muhammad and he is not a Muslim. And obviously, the Arab before Muhammad, they believe in Allah, and Allah is there a pagan God. Muslims. And you are the one who said to me, Arab before Muhammad are pagan. There were still Muslims and more hadith. Thank you, no more. Hadith. Thank you. So, how there is no Muslim, but yet Muhammad, father, his name is a slave of Allah. What's the problem with that? Because that's mean he is uh, he's worshiping Allah. So, you are the one who said there is no Muslims before Muhammad. All of them, they are idol worshippers, including the uncle of Muhammad, the father of Muhammad. Uh, uh, the grandfather of Muhammad, all of them, and the proof, mm -hmm. even the names of the uncles of Muhammad, all of them, they are Abdul Uzza, Abdullah, etc. So their names, their names are the you know uh, uh, the slaves of uh, the daughter of Allah, the slaves of uh, uh, Allah, you know. No, all of them were idol worshippers. My friend, the all of them, they are. You are the one who said to that to me. You said to me, you are the one. A second ago, you said to me, all the Arab before Muhammad, they are idol worshippers. I didn't say all. Okay, prove to me that I'm wrong. Who is the one who is not our idol worshipper before Muhammad? From his oh, family. Many. From his family, many. at least. Huh? Many who are monotheists. Who? <coughs> not all, all of them were inclined to idol worship. Do you understand? All of them, they worship idols. <coughs> no, not all of them. No, who, so who? So why Muhammad's father will go to hell then? How will he go to hell? He said that. Your prophet, he said that. Why did he say that? Mm, can I call a friend? Go on, yeah. Okay, let me call a friend. Hold on. Um, the problem is Muslims, you know, they got me busted and they ask me questions I can't answer. Okay, right, let me call a friend. Is it it's okay if I give you, if, if, if you give me like a month, find it? It's in your time, seriously. Uh, what, what do you mean? It's in your time trying to you know, put out the light of Allah and Islam. Ah, the so light what? of Allah. Here we go. Your prophet, he said, my father and your father are in hell. What do you say? Yeah, there's a lot of fabricated hadith. Ah, fabricated. Okay. How you know it's fabricated? It could be. It's most it could be. I know. Actually, obviously, Islam is a, is a chain of fabrication. Anything Muhammad, he says, the Muslims look like they look like you're Muslims. You have nothing to do except fabricating stories about your prophet. Because the majority of Muslims, they know Abdullah was a good man. But your prophet, he said he will go to hell. No, that, that must be a fabricated hadith. But it says in front of me, it says Sahih. Sahih doesn't mean correct. No, uh, sahih, uh, okay, Sahih does sahih not mean correct. correct. Okay, guys, Sahih does not mean correct. Okay. So, uh, can you give me a reference where it says that father of Muhammad was a good man? As long as this one is fabricated. Forget about this one. We will dump it. We get the idea, Islam, all of it is full of garbage. How is that How is that relevant to anything? 
Well, we are talking about Allah. You know, so you are the one who said to me that Allah, uh, uh, fa uh, Muhammad's father was a believer, but Muhammad said his uh, father will go to hell. How is a believer? To, not only his father, his father and his mother. Like I said, how is this relevant? Okay, let's go back to zero. Who is Allah? You will say to me, He is God. Who is Allah? What is that? My God is, you know, who is Allah? What do you know about Him? We only know some things. We can't comprehend. Like what? His, uh, what do you know about being. Him? Okay, what do you know about Him? We know that He's one. He's one what? First. He's one what? He's the first. First what? The first to exist. The first exists. That's mean he is exist in certain point. Is is the, is the first mean he he have no beginning or no end or uh, first uh, just first as uh, before him there's nobody. He's the creator of all existence. But the Quran says there's many creators, isn't it? The Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators. That doesn't matter. What do you mean? If I say I am the best of the creators, it means there's many creators. Imagine I say I am the best of the student, but there's no other students. That would be silly and stupid and a lie. Are you accusing your God to be a liar? Look, one thing's for sure that Allah and Islam is a guarantee. Guarantee of what? He is the best of the creators, right? So how he can be God, but yet he is the best of the creators? That means you Muslims don't believe in one God. If God is the creator and, you, and the Quran confirmed that Allah is the best of the creators, that means Quran confirmed that there's many creators. How he can be the best of the creators if there's no other creators? <laughs> How you explain to me this uh, this madness? I am the best uh, of my people. That's mean I am one of many. If I am the only one, I cannot say I am the best of you know and best of what of the creators. So either Allah here is, you know, making up best, and that will make him a liar because you cannot say I'm the best of. When there's nobody else, that will make you a liar. It's for example, when he gave Jesus the ability to create. Okay, so Allah is comparing himself to Jesus, saying that he is a creator and Jesus is a creator, and now we have two creators. Like there is no creator except by his permission. What the permission? I and I can claim that I gave Jesus the permission. What does that mean? This is a claim mentioned in the Quran, but doesn't make any difference because you just said that Jesus. By when Allah He says I am the best of the Creator, and you are the one who chose for me the example of Jesus, that means Allah He accept and He and you accept that Jesus is a Creator, correct? Yeah, Allah says okay. be it me. No problem, no problem. But He is a Creator. Be isn't He? Not be isn't He? Who care? He is a Creator. So now Allah is saying He is the best of the creators, and if God is a Creator, that means Jesus is a Creator, and He's God. What make God no, God? You are the one who said to me. No. I, I ask you, what make God God? You said He is a Creator. And you just Before told me Jesus by your choice Abraham. that Jesus is a creator, so Jesus is God. Okay, Before let me ask Jesus. you: name for me, name name for me one thing Jesus can do, your God can do. As an example, Jesus he can create. What is the proof that your God Allah can create? Before Jesus, Abraham was given the ability. No, that's not that's not true. That's not true. He, he asked him to, to cut four Process. chickens and put them in four hills, and then Allah he ordered them to come. But it's not and that's not Abraham is the one who made them uh, read the story. <laughs> The, the story in the Quran about Abraham is about Allah. He Abraham he said to Allah, How you how you how you how you bring them back to life? He said to him, Put four chickens, you know, get a chicken, cut it off, put it in four hills, and order, you know, like I will order it and they will come to you. This is not Abraham, it's Allah. But in the story of Jesus, the same as the story of Moses, the cow chapter, why is called the chapter? Because simply a guy he got killed, and Moses he said to Allah. Uh, you know how we can find out this here what who killed this guy so Allah he told him to beat the guy with the cow beef and then the cow you know the guy after they beat him with the cow which is a true story you know in the Middle East always we beat people with cow to make them alive again and uh, he came back to life he woke up for five feet he said uh, the guy who killed me his name is a Christian prince and he died again but this is was Allah supposedly not Moses but Jesus in the verse in the Quran it says I I resurrect for you from the death a man. I create for you from the mother bird. I breathe into him. Correct? I. Neither Abraham, neither Moses <laughs> did that. So what we will do now? Your God, Allah cannot be a creator. 
because Muhammad, you know, why Muhammad never have a miracle of his God, the Creator? As long Allah, you Muslims claim that the miracle of Jesus is a is a permission from Allah. Why Allah did not give a permission to Muhammad? The, the Christians deny that all the prophets and messengers taught monotheism and worshiping only. Why well, you are God. changing the topic? First of all, you don't you don't believe in monotheism. Here we go. Allah is the best of the creators. And you are the one who says that Allah is one. The Quran says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Ahad mean one off, not one. Ahad in Arabic does not mean. Ahad is coming from the Echad in, in Hebrew. And Echad does not mean one as person. It's one as unity. As an example, the Bible says that the man, he leave his, uh, uh, his family and he will be one with his wife. Echad. So there are two people, they will become Echad. So one is unity, not uh, one person same as when you say Muslim you say to me Tawheed do you, you speak Arabic right yes okay don't we say in Arabic Tawheed do al Arabiya yeah okay what does that mean translate please Tawheed do al Arabiya means unifying the Arabic countries thank you very much so Tawheed mean unifying guys did you hear it did you hear it your Tawheed mean unifying so you, how you Muslim you say to me you believe in Tawheed but yet you say to me believe in one God Tawheed is unifying if Allah is one, you want to you, you, you want to unify Allah. Allah is one. How you want to? Okay, but how you use Tawheed then? If Allah is one, why you are using the word? You just translate to me. You said unifying. How He is one, but you you want to unify the one. It's like Sabahu uh, meaning, you know, you do Subhanallah meaning He is. My friend, uh, I'm talking about know. unifying now. How Allah is one, but you want to unify Allah. How okay. how unifying is the Tawheed? You just gave me the definition. Definition very important. That Tawheed means unifying. Okay, if Allah is one, you want to unify what? Unify him because some people they divide him. Oh, huh, some people they divide him. So you want to put him together? He is already together. But, but, you, but so why you are using the word Tawheed then? To correct those who say false things. No, my friend, no. It's, you said if you believe in Tawheed, that's mean we believe in unifying, not in the oneness. You see, the Muslims, they fool us and they say to us, we believe in the oneness of Allah, but in fact, they believe in you in Tawheed. And Tawheed, you are the one who told me what Tawheed means, unifying. You cannot correct people by unifying God who is one already, unless you are agreeing with them. <laughs> every time no, okay, human let, beings, no problem. every time human beings, they... Uh, say false things about God he sends messengers to correct them. okay that's wonderful okay Allah he sent messengers to correct correct a uh, correct uh, uh, human being who say false stuff about God okay what about Muhammad who Allah Allah did Allah send any any messenger to correct Muhammad Muhammad was sent by Allah okay but who who is the one who Allah sent him to correct Muhammad because Muhammad he fabricate many stories about Allah isn't it there is a chapter in the Quran it's called a chapter of a tahreem Allah he said to him why you are forbidding what I for I, I ask you not to forbid what I made lawful for you he made mistakes and God corrected okay him. so but you a second ago you said to me that Allah he sent prophet to correct us but in the case of Muhammad he is the one who made the mistake and he is the one who correct himself so you are yeah, breaking the said, rules now how he, he is a human being not a, no not problem he is a human being but that's mean he is not a qualified because he is breaking the command of Allah and he is doing something wrong <coughs> and Allah here we don't see any prophet sent to correct him let me ask you let, let me let me ask they you don't, okay don't sin. no problem they, they don't sin so the Quran are you saying the Quran is lying because the Quran says your prophet is a big-time sinner huh what does it say you, you just said the prophet don't sin isn't it the Quran says that your prophet is a big time sinner? No, it doesn't say that. Really? Okay, let's see. This is Quran, chapter 48, the chapter of Muhammad al Fatah, verse number two, that Allah may forgive to thee the sin which in the past and which to come. Allah giving Muhammad an open license for sin. Have you ever heard of a God doing that? <laughs> Correct. What does that mean? The sin in the past. And the sin in to come. Okay. What kind of God he is forgiving Muhammad? And he's saying to him, Maybe. You said to me, Muhammad, don't have sin. So how Allah forgives sin in the past and sin to come if you don't have sin? 
that doesn't literally mean he has any sins. It may mean that he has mistakes or shortfalls. No, the word in Arabic is a dhambuka, and I can show you the word all over the Quran. Them is a sin. And why, if it's fault, need to be forgiveness? Fault is fault. You know, like uh, as an example, I was opening the uh, the box and I broke the the key. That is not a sin. That is a m mistake. And you know, sin is something you do against God. And the word them is you do something against God, not just a mistake. You know, if I am driving my car and I hit a human being and he he die, uh, you know, this is not not sin. Even though I killed him because I didn't mean to kill him. Right? Yeah. Okay. So why Allah want to forgive the sin of Muhammad for the past and to come? And what kind of God he gave an open license for a prophet to sin? Don't the Muslim they say to us that one upon the time there was a Pope, he was giving a paper for people to sin as they claim, which is a lie. <laughs> but the fact is the one who did that, it is Muhammad. Here we go. He gave himself a paper. Say Allah, forgive me for my past. And for my coming sin as far as we know that prophet muhammad he was he was offered the world and he rejected it for the sake of god rejected what the whole world was offered really him. but muhammad he was taking money he don't even meet people unless they pay him i don't know what are you talking about my friend do muhammad accept to meet you in his house unless you pay him first hmm he don't accept. Muhammad was hospitable. People would eat in his house, and indeed, the Quran says that and God is telling my friend. Those are his gang. Why? 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 He no. He told them. He told them go, go right away because he is. He don't want them to stay and eat more. No. That's what. So okay. Why they you are asking them? Why you are asking stay. them to leave? Why you are asking them to leave? Because there's a lot of Muslims. If all of them want a conversation after mm -hmm. a meal, then he, it okay. would be annoying. So, and but why? Why you have to pay Muhammad before you meet him? The Quran. Not true. Not true. Okay. Can I call a friend? There may be verses about spoils of war and stuff like that, but no. Uh, is, did it, you say your prophet he takes spoil of war? Why? He's a thief? No, that's how it is. That's how life was. Oh, ah, okay. So he make living from a spoil of law, war. What what's your profit business? What do you do for a living? There was a point where he was trading in gold. He was trading in gold? Yes. Okay. And where we can find the reference for that? From his wife's gold. From okay. Khadija's gold. So he married an old woman because she is rich. Thank you very much. Now here we see Muhammad, he have a lot of gold as you see. And yet Allah, he told him, take from their money, from their wealth. And by doing that, you can purify them and pray in their behalf. <laughs> have you ever heard of a somebody, if I pay him, he pray in my behalf and he purified me? What kind of God and what kind of prophet? Why I need to pay Muhammad? So he will pray in my behalf. This is what false people do, like false priests. You know, if a, if a priest, Christian priest, he's a scammer, he's a liar, he will say, okay, pay me, and I will pray to God to forgive you. You know, this is what scam do. So you say to him, people, why you're a prophet? He, he need your money to pay him in order to pray in your behalf. I never heard of such a thing before. What do you think? We can change the translation for you if you want, by the way. I'm not sure which one you like most. We believe in Islam that when you give in charity, that uh, this purifies well, what, you. What's the point of this charity, my friend? This is not a charity because you are paying to the Prophet. Charity, no, you give it to the, to the Prophet. Charity, charity no, no. Charity, Muhammad, he has 13 wives. Who is the one paying for the 13 houses? Who is the one? What kind of salary this guy he have? To the point he can afford to have all the slaves they have. Each each wife she have many slaves. Each wife she have her house. We're each about wife. No, so yeah, well, that, I, well, I need to know where he. To not not, culture, not everybody can afford thirteen wives, my friend. Are can you, you afford? To, to can you afford thirteen wives? Can you? No, my friend. No, still the same because you have to pay dowry. It's very expensive and nothing this changed. This is the prophet of God. He's special. Like he's not like. Okay, where is the money coming from? Where is the money? He's a prophet of God. Where is the money coming from? He is a prophet of God. The money is coming from. 
from the army from the, the ah, from the booty so Muhammad attacked the neighbor so he can have more wives yes. right okay. they come to Mecca and they okay. thank you so guy do you hear it yes 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 okay so what's so, the so okay he he conquered the neighbors he steal their money he steal their goods even the Muslims they accuse him that he stole an underwear is that correct he conquered the Arab pagans that kicked them out from Mecca First of all, nobody kicked him out. This is a big fat and lie. And forgive them no. after the, he conquered No, them. this is his family that's anyway. Those are his family. No, my friend, this is his family. Forgive who? <coughs> Quraysh is his family. All of them are cousins. He it's forgive a... the Arab pagans, even the one who killed his own uncle, the black slave. My friend, Muhammad, he killed everybody, everyone. When he entered Mecca, he said, there's four people have to be killed, even if they hang himself in the Kaaba. Four people have to be killed. You know, he's an angry man. He hit everybody. The rest are his family. Now, let me ask you. Did Muhammad cut a woman to pieces when she's alive? Her name is Ummu Qirfa. Where are you getting these stories from? Well, I, you want to challenge me to show it to you? Sure. Okay. Give me a second. Can I call a friend? Let us see. And I'm glad, I'm glad that you speak Arabic. That will make it easy, you know. The way she needs man. Okay, let us see. A woman, she is very old. Your prophet, he cut her two pieces when she's alive by splitting. What's a magic show? Yeah, we will see. We see this, David Blaine. We will see. We will see. Let's see the show. The okay, let us see. Yeah, you're probably getting these stories from, uh, you know. Yeah, from uh, from where? What do you think? From, from fabricated book. Is it a fabricated narration? Uh, uh, right now, you are preparing yourself. I did not even show you the story. Uh, right away, you start saying fabricated book. Right? Right away. I did not even show you the story yet. And right away, you prepare yourself right away. Anything friend, we show the, the Muslims? The percent I have is the Quran. Anything okay. we show to the Muslims? Anything we the show to the Muslims? The percent I have is the Quran. Okay, let us go to the Quran then. As long as yes. 100%. Okay, so you know now that this story is true. You know, Let's right? discuss the Quran. this is this is a, a tabari. This is a tabari. You're a prophet. He cut this woman two pieces. Let me show you it in the screen. You're a prophet and you speak Arabic. You have no excuse. All right. He cut her two pieces and she was what kind of a Jews and Kabira. Do you see a text? What kind of a Jews and Kabira? All right. Famara and Yukta and Tukta Umu Kurfa. Fakatalaha Katlan Anifan Rabata. Let me, let, me, let me zoom for you so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. ربط رجليها حبلين ثم ربطها إلى بعيرين ثم شقها. You see it? He tied her legs. He tied her two legs to two different camels, and he ordered the camels to run in two different direction. And he cut her two pieces when she is alive. This is your Imam Al Tabari. Now we go to the Quran. What do you do for people who you kill them in Islam after you kill them? What do you do? What do you do for someone who is a prisoner of war? Is it true that you have to cut their fingertips, torture them? Are you there, my friend? Hello? Are you there? Hmm? Hello? What happened? Hello? Hello? <laughs> All right, my friend, take it easy. You see, anything you show them, right away they start playing games, it's weak, it's strong. This is your religion. You cut their necks and even you cut their fingertips. Torture. This is the Prophet, the Muslim, they keep saying to us that Allah is all merciful and Muhammad is all merciful. And then when he captured his enemies, and I can show you actually, Muhammad, he put nails in the eyes of people and he crucified them and he cut their hands and their, and their feet. Yes, Mr. Mustafa. Hello. You hear me now, huh? Yes, I hear. All right. Do you see the verse in the front of us, chapter of eight and Anfal? Does it say that you have to cut the fingertips of the enemy after you cut their necks? You're talking about the thieves. 
this is not about the thief this is about the attack you know that uh, the, the enemy you know in ladina kafaru ar-ra'b ladina kafaru not the thief fadrabu fawqa al-a'naq wadrabu minhum kull banan why you wanna cut their fingertips after you cut their neck what the point <coughs> i don't know you, know, you are a muslim i'm asking you i mean i'm enjoying learning from you look like you know a lot about islam well, obviously sometimes it was war and yeah, but if, I, if there is a war i cut your fingertips you are dead now why, why, why i want to cut your fingertips I must question. what is what is a, the pleasure the god of islam he enjoy by cutting fingers of people after we kill them we cut his neck know, and now we have neck. to cut his finger why do you like do you make them sujages maybe you eat them muslims well, I guess those times there, uh, there wasn't any hand oil, you know. Ah, okay. By the way, <laughs> I heard, I heard, next. I heard that you can e eat your wife in Islam. Is that correct? Uh, maybe that's a story about Henry the Eighth. No, no, I'm, I'm serious. Is it true that you can eat your wife in Islam? <clears throat> You've been watching zombie movies or something. Hey, my, my friend, I am. I can show you. You know. Here we go. Even the I can show you. This is the Iranian TV station, Al Alam News. And this is here, Mufti Saudiya. You read Arabic. I know Arabic, so nobody is lying to anyone. Mufti Saudiya, you know, he is going against the, the, the fatwa, which is says that you can eat your wife. Let me find you another reference. Hold on. <laughs> and why? Because in Islam, if a man is hungry, you know, he is it's lawful for him to eat uh, his wife. And actually, here we go. I have actually, there's a video about it. Okay. Uh, after he, people, they got him busted in the video saying that you can, you can eat your wife. This guy, many people, they get so angry. And what this guy is talking about, and this is the Mufti of Saudi Arabia, saying you can eat your wife if you are forced into hunger. Okay. So if you go fat or if you go good portion. Mm. Now, okay. Let me ask you: Did Khalid Nwarid he ate a human being? He killed him and he and he cooked him. Yes. And here we see that your God saying that after you kill them, you cut their fingertips, and you are the one start making fun, saying maybe they don't have oil at that time. They want to fry them or something. What do you think? <laughs> Do, do Allah eat a human? What do you say? Do yeah, Allah do, do Allah eat a human? You know, eat human, but people eat backbiters, like they're eating their own brother's flesh. Okay, but do, I'm, I'm asking about Allah. Do Allah eat a human? No, he doesn't. Huh? No? He doesn't. Okay, well, there is a verse in the Quran speaking that Allah is going to, uh, you know, insert a chain in, in the anus of a Muslim and then he will roaster him or the believer or sorry, non-believer and he will roaster him. He will put the chain in his uh, anus and it's going to come from his mouth. What do you think? Why Allah is doing that? Why Allah is doing that? Something frightening, you know. So some, something what? Something frightening. Okay, but why Allah want to insert a chain in the anus of a human being? What is that to frighten? I mean, the frightening is to go to hell, but since when hell is to insert something in the anus of somebody ass? What is the pleasure that will bring to Allah? I mean, you've got Allah, He have specific uh, sexual entertainment and fantasy <laughs> if you me, there are some people that Allah doesn't even look at and he keeps them away from me okay but this is another question why Allah enjoy inserting something in the anus of a human being what is the joy what is the reward he received from that you are a sinner and now he is inserting in your anus uh, a chain what is the point tell me I'm asking you. I'm trying to learn from you. What is the, what is the point of this? I mean, so you want me to explain this? Are you an idiot? Well, I okay. Let us say I am an idiot, and you are the smart one. Please explain to me why Allah is going to insert in the anus of a human being a very long chain, which is saying 
that every ring of it have equal iron of all the world. How you maybe can put that inside the, the anus? Maybe just stop looking for stories about anuses. Who is looking for a story? Allah? No, you. Okay, well, let us say I'm looking for a story about Allah and look like I found that Allah is very specific, specifically like he specialized with anuses. Don't you agree? It seems like you're a specialist in anuses. Well, I am not the one who mentioned it. It's your God. He spoke long before I'm born. He is the one who speak about anuses. Why your God is going to insert in the anus of a human being? If, if speaking about anus is something bad, I mean, why your God is Allah is doing that? And guess what? This is a chapter 69 in the Quran. I mean, this is a miracle by itself. Your God, Allah, chose the perfect number to speak about this. You know, this is a miracle. The Muslims, I want the Muslims to make a to make a video about this because how Allah He chose 69 as a number for the verse. This is obviously it's a miracle. He write you know the right choice. So chapter 69. Let us go and see what the verse is saying. All right. Until now, we could not find who's Allah. I'm trying to find who's He, but look like this God He have really. Uh, a problem, you know, he enjoy a certain fantasy inserting his fingers or his something in the anus of someone and he, uh, you see, read with me here carefully uh, and then fast in him, this is Ibn Kathir explaining the verse uh, fast in this uh, guy, alright let us be sure that uh, the video is coming right okay, fast in him uh, wherefore the length of 70 cubit so the chain is 70 cubit length okay and then he says every ring it will be equal to the entire amount of the iron is found in the world if, 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 if. you see how big the ring of every ring of this chain this is a huge man all the iron in the world will not be even one ring of the chain so imagine are you there we hang up The funny when I, I showed them this they said to me look like you are interested in the anus I am the one is interested in the anus right let me call him back it's me it's my fault hey Mustafa are you there Okay, my friend, do you see now Ibn Kathir is saying, and look what it says here. This is how big this the chain is. And then it says here, each cupid will be uh, uh, four arms length of an angel. And you know how angel, like the angel Jibreel, his wings cover the horizon. That's big, huge, you know? Look how huge. So, and then he says, fast in him, it will be entered into his buttocks, ouch, and pulled out of his mouth okay you are the one who said that this is bad to be interested in anus why your god is interested in anus mr musa christian prince enjoy your anuses and your chains okay i don't give a fuck fuck oh, you okay here we go, go Thanks. To here we go see did you hear it <laughs> very embarrassing you see, Allah is God. Allah is God, but he, he, he have a special fantasy. You know, we are trying to learn about this God. He inserted in the anus of a human being a long chain. This is God. I mean, God, he liked that. If we watch a movie of somebody doing that, how sick we will get watching such a thing. You have to be literally sick. Okay, you want to punish the person. Let us say he is a bad person. He is a criminal, you know. So, what is this? Hello? Uh, hello, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Uh, yes, Christian Prince. Uh, no, I'm a Hindu. I'm calling from India. All right. Yeah, uh, you were just talking to this guy, and I thought I, I just wanted to quickly point out something. Okay. Uh, the chain you mentioned that Allah will insert in the person's anus hmm. said it's uh, 70 cubits long. Right. But the, the cubit is, uh, each one of them is in the in the size of what? You see what it says there? Each cubit is in the size. Can you see the screen? Mm -hmm. Okay. What does that mean? 
if you are good in mathematics what does that mean the angel he covered the horizon so that is like an endless chain yes. yeah so how big this chain and every ring of it the, uh, it has equal iron of all the iron in the world how an anus which is like what it's a half inch <laughs> what is the anus size how the anus size is going to fit for all the iron in the world every ring of it how many billions of tons of iron there will be in every ring of the chain I mean this is this is weird those people are stupid right okay my friend you have a bad internet so <clears throat> do we have any Muslim anyone any Abdul who can tell us who is Allah until now we get no no conclusion of who is Allah Oh, what we know that there's a God who is the best of the creator which means there's many creators he says stupid things as an example how the how the baby is created uh, he claimed that you are gathered in your mother womb for 40 days as a sperm and then you transform into a congealed blood and then another 40 days which means total in creation of you is 120 days and that's it you are ready to go and by the way in case you do not know the Muslims in order to explain why their prophet was born uh, uh, you know uh, four years after his his father death they claim that the Muslim women she can be pregnant up anyone knows let me see before I say who knows how many years up to how many years a Muslim woman she can be pregnant anyone knows for how many years a Muslim woman she can be pregnant four years you are wrong my friend ten years thank you yeah ten years so a Muslim woman she can be pregnant up to ten years in Islam after her husband pass away or divorce her so imagine you are Abdul you divorce your wife ten years ago and then she call you Assalamu alaikum who did I am your ex-wife why are you calling me now I come over and pay the bill for the hospital I just gave birth what are you talking about I divorced you 10 years ago is it yeah. your son this is not my son it's impossible how I can have a son after 10 years of divorcing you uh, dr. Zakir Naik please open the interpretation of the Quran and read with me Abdul this is what your religion teach Ten years after you divorce your wife, she might deliver a baby from you. Okay, what is the proof that this is my son? Give me a proof. First of all, he looked like you, stupid, and he have a beard like you too. There's a guy, supposedly the Muslim. They want to explain why Muhammad he is born four years after his father's death. This, this is the whole idea. So to explain why he is born four years after his father's death, they start fabricating stories. And <laughs> Muhammad, he claimed that there's a guy, his name is Ibn Ajlan. Uh, okay, guys, don't call me unless you are a Muslim, please. He gave his wife, she gave birth to her baby, and the baby have already his teeth. And his hair is growing. I mean that's amazing because she is a breathed for four years I mean isn't it that fantastic my friend this is the only religion in the world come with such a thing any Abdul and even actually uh, some they say that a Muslim a Muslim woman she can be pregnant even up uh, more than 10 years so uh, actually there is a woman I think it was in Somalia no no Somalia 
Somalia, Niger, I thought I forgot where in Africa. So the woman she was accused of adultery because she delivered a son uh, two years after her husband passed away. And they took her, you know, the people they want to stone her, they took her to the Sharia court. The Sharia court, they agree that she must be a whore. There's witnesses that guys they come to her house. And then the lawyer who is smart, he said to them, but according to Islamic Sharia law, a woman she can be pregnant even up to 10 years after her her husband passed away or you a divorce. So the Sharia law they have no choice but to let her go. And I challenge any Muslim to tell me I'm lying. Who want to do that? Who is a Muslim? Want to do that? Okay, we have a Muslim trying to call us. Let us let us get a. Uh, <coughs> Why you don't answer? Why Muslims they keep saying to me, why you don't read this? They text me, but they don't want to talk to me. Shabir Ali doing his PhD. You Muslims are doing what? Your wife, she's a Briton for 10 years? Hmm? Read this, and why you don't read this? Call me. Answer me. Show me. Oh, a Muslim saying to me, read this, explain this, don't call me. Okay, my friend, let me explain this to you so everybody will laugh. Remember, it was your mistake, not mine. Okay. Let's go to the Quran. <sighs> Let us read translation. Let us read translation and love. They say Allah has begotten a son. Hello? Hello. Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Oh, this guy is an ex Muslim. Okay, maybe you can call me later. Let's finish this uh, story here. So this Muslim, he said to us, why you don't read this? Why you don't read this? Huh? Why you don't read this? Why you are hiding this? Say, Allah has, they say that Allah has begotten a son. A glory be to him. Nay, to him belong that all that in heaven and in earth. I mean, this is stupid. What he have a son have to do with all things belong to him. Let me explain to you what how stupid this verse. Somebody says to me, Christian Prince, uh, you have a son. I say, nay, all what is in Home Depot belong to me. Have you ever heard of a stupid logic and a stupid answer more than this? Brother Tata, they say that Allah have a son, but Allah, he owned the cards, all the cards in the war, all the trees, all the animals, all what is in Home Depot. What does this have to do with the accusation? They are saying to you that he have a son. What all things belong to him have to do with this? I mean, who is the one here is taking too much hashish? This is the verse of your choice. You want me to read it? Are you sure? Now I know why you don't want me to talk to you by voice. You want me just to, to read it. I said to me, why you don't read this, huh? Why you don't read this? Let me show you something else. Allah have a, his own logic. He complained why the Arab they gave him daughters and he have no boys. Have you ever heard of a God like this? Chapter 53, verse number 2. Read with me carefully. Please read. Read. Allah is complaining here. Allah is like a woman. She is like, what? Like, what? This is not fair. Look, for truly, did he see the signs of Allah, the Lord, the Creator? 
the 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 the, the greatest have you seen a lot and this is by the way when Muhammad he started reciting satanic verses and the shaitan he put in his mouth that their intercession is a must have you seen a lot and al uzza by the way this is false translation it is a lot and al uzza not lat and uzza and then and another the third the goddess manat okay why Allah is talking about them look what he said look at this stupid thing what for you the male sex and for me the female <laughs> like what 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 it's like two women fighting in walmart and one she is taking all the toys which is a male gender and the other one she's saying what you take all the male gender toys and you leave for me the female this is for sure unfair division this is God talking. What is your God complaint here? He complained that they took for them the male and they gave him the female. And he's saying this is unfair. I am really, really, really upset. This is unfair. You take the female, for, you give me the female and you take the male for you. This is God talking. God is complaining why you are giving him daughters, but you have boys as sons. This is the problem now. The logic of the one who wrote the Quran obviously is taking too much hashish. Because if you don't have kids anyway, who cares if they are daughters or they are boys? What is your problem? Allah here is his problem is you cannot have the males for you and the females for me. And the funny, the Muslim they say to us, Islam. Uh, there is a verse in the Quran that says that when when the when the when the uh, the Arab they hear the news that they have a daughter their face you know became blackened, which means you know like they are unhappy. Huh? When they say to him, when they say to them that you have uh, you have a daughter, the, the 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 person who will be upset, Allah is the one who's being upset. Why Allah is upset? Okay, you, they said to you, that's mean the Arab, they are worshipping females. When the Arab, they choose that the God is the three gods of Islam, of Allah. Uh, that's mean they worship females. If we go in the chapter of Mary, chapter 3, verse number 16, 36, it says that when she gave birth to Mary, her mother supposedly the mother of uh, the wife of Amran she said uh, and when she had delivered she said oh my lord Lou I am delivered a female Allah knows best what she was delivered a male is not as a female okay she's not she's not equal all right we go to the different verse uh, <clears throat> In chapter 4 verse 117 the Quran confirmed that the Arab not only they do appreciate females but they worship them do you see it they invoke who and they worship who females who is saying that the Quran? So why the Muslim they lie to us? They say before Islam, the women, the, the, the child she used to be buried. And as we see here, the child female is to be worshipped. She is a goddess. And look here, the God of Islam is making fun of them because they are worshipping a female. Do you notice that? Otherwise, why he's mentioning the word female? Why you just saying a false god? Are we, are we following, guys? Why he don't say okay those are false god why why you are mentioning females the female thing because obviously he have a problem with the females how you can worship females as god like are you stupid and this is destroy all the claims of muslims that women before islam they were not respected and after islam they are respected muhammad himself before islam was working for his wife khadija 
She was she was his boss according to Islamic books. If women before Islam they are disrespected, then how she was a boss and she in order on her business and Muhammad and many men they work for her. That's a big fat lie. If we go in the history of Arabia and other countries, we will find in the Middle East that women they used to be queens and leaders. Who is Nefertiti? Who is Cleopatra? Who is Zenobia? Women who read the word, even Umm Qurfa, the one, the one Muhammad, he he killed her and he cut her two pieces alive. This is a leader of her tribe. Hello. Hello. Are you going to talk, Mr. Yasin? Are you there? Hmm. All right. Do we have any Muslim when I call us? Anyone? And you know the funny about Muslims, if Allah have a kid or not, the Quran says, if Allah have a son, so say I will be the first to worship. Hello? Hey Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. Are you a Muslim or ex-Muslim? I left Islam, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. What happened? Oh, you will not are what? Are you kidding me? You left Islam, so you will not have versions no more? Yeah, man. <laughs> Can you send me your versions, please? I mean, they don't, you don't need them anymore. I mean, okay. You want versions? You have to believe in Allah, my friends. Okay, we can believe in Allah for two weeks, go vacation, have fun with the version, come back, and then we leave Islam. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, what made you leave Islam, my friend? I mean, if I, I looked in the life of uh, Muhammad, I said this guy cannot be a prophet. What do you mean? I mean, Muhammad is a very respectful prophet, man. What are you talking about? You must be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, according to the Muslims, he's uh, perfect. But actually, according to the Muslims, he's horrible because all the reference we have is from Muslim books, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was so stupid. I, I've been born into the religion, but I couldn't take it anymore. So much lies and. Yeah. So what, what happened? How like how you you decided to leave? If you like to share with people who they are listening, you don't need to give personal information. But like share share some general information like what make you start thinking about leaving this cult? I mean you have to definitely read the hadiths. That right. is, is a definitely a big changer and Stop listening to these Imams. Just look into yourself into the sources Because if I always listen to the Imams, they will uh, make up stories. They will use Daif hadiths and just to make Islam look beautiful, but by the way, there's nothing it's called the if the if is still is is, is fine. Yeah, Even the if, yeah. there is yeah. they, they will you see the Muslim yeah. they play the game of the if the if is something created just to make an excuse to reject stories. But as you said, when they want even they accept the if to make Muhammad look good, you know. Yeah, I know uh, even in the mosque they use the if stories just to make Islam look good. Right. So when they want the if is bad, when they want the if is good. I mean, even when I was a Muslim, I always loved Jesus more than Muhammad. Because Jesus, he, he, he did actually nothing wrong in his life. But Muhammad, uh, if I, the, the thing is that I heard that he married Aisha at six and consummated at, at nine. My friend, I have a different, I have different uh, mm -hmm. uh, way I look at the marriage of Muhammad from Aisha. I will explain to you, my friend. I will play yeah. for you now. I will play a Muslim. Okay. And I will explain to you why Muhammad he married Aisha as a Muslim. As long as we have no Muslim to call us, as you know, <laughs> the hadith says that the Prophet he married Aisha at the age of six. Correct? Yeah. But the Muslim they say to us that Aisha she was mature at that time because girls at that time they grow fast. Is that correct? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's so what happened? Heat, it's the heat from the Middle East. Yeah. So what happened? This is this is what happened according to my special intelligence. Muhammad was a very naive person. He's 54 years old, but he don't even know what sex is. 
Aisha she took him to a dark room she told him I bought a Casio watch I want to show you the light inside but we have to close the curtains and the windows but in order to do that you have to get inside the room with me okay Muhammad is naive and he never <laughs> saw a car you know a watch like this so he went inside the room they closed the curtain and when he's inside the room Aisha she said to him as long the doors are closed what about we play with your birds he said what birds he said there in your underwear there's a bird so we let him go and as long the windows are closed they will not run away Muhammad he took <laughs> off his panty so this is how Aisha she this it was the fault of Aisha uh, Muhammad is a decent man he have no idea what Aisha she's planning for she's mature she's horny at the age of six well, well, women in the Middle East at the age of six I am from Middle East my friend women at the age of six they are very dangerous very dangerous you know actually when you see when you see a girl at the age of six in the Middle East I mean you have to be worried about your safety and your life and you'll be raped so Aisha she played Muhammad the poor guy who is 54 years only and she is six years old which means she is mature and she know what she is doing and the poor guy he became a victim of rape and that is the phase first prophet who was raped in history by a six years old girl true story very naughty Aisha yeah the Muslims, uh, they say, even they say that Allah, Allah inspire him to marry her. The Prophet, don't marry any woman unless Allah inspire him. Okay, I explain to me. Allah inspired Muhammad to marry Aisha for what reason? I mean, there's no reason. Mm. If you are a prophet, you have to prophesy, not be yeah. sexually addicted to even teenagers. That's disgusting. Yeah. All right, I'm fine. Anything you want to uh, else, else you want to share with people who they are listening? Actually, I'm from a Shia family, so oh, you are Shia. My father always, yeah, he used to curse Aisha, so mm -hmm. that helped. Yeah, they say Aisha, Aisha, so. But you know, like Aisha, she, Aisha, you know, I mean, Shia, they have a lot of funny stories. You they know hate that, her. Right? They hate her more than. But she is bad anyway. This is true. You know, yeah. I, I, I agree. She's bad. She is a whore, really. You know, Aisha, yeah, she took yeah, an, she took an arm word, like calling her a whore and stuff like that. And yeah, maybe when she was a kid, she was a victim of Muhammad. But obviously, when she grew up, she became an evil woman. You know, and, uh, and suddenly, I, I mean, mean, it's normal. By the, the way, the environment also made her that way. I believe. Correct, so correct. You are right. I was she, going to say that actually. I was going to say that if you live with an evil person for many years, you will turn to be evil. You know, she she learned the skills of evil. You know, but she was several like Muslims say she was. She is, she was obviously very smart. Mm. Do you know do you, do you know the hadith of the Sunnah about Aisha? She used to decorate women to hunt men from Quraysh. No, no, never heard of it. Really? Okay, I will find <laughs> it for you. you. Do you speak Arabic? A little bit. Okay. A little bit. So the the Sunnah. Imagine the Sunnah. They say that, not the Shia. Uh, but the Shia they use this hadith uh, just uh, to. Uh, you know to get the, the sunnah busted so the the the, the, she, the sunni, sunni say that aisha she decorated women so she can hunt girls from Quraysh. Oh. yeah she hunt boys sorry not uh, this is the book of al musannaf this is one of many books kitab nikah which means the book of ifin yeah. the, the the muslims they do uh, uh, force a slave girl to go around and wearing sexy clothes so they can hunt customers. And look what it says here. Haddathana Abu Bakr, Qala Athana Wakiya, An Lala, An Abdul Karim, An 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 An. It says, An Aisha, An Hashawafat, Jaria, Watafat, Biha, Wakalat, La Alan and Astadu Biha, Shabab, Quraysh. So Aisha, guys, she decorated a, a, a slave girl. And which means she would make up on her, make her look pretty and sexy, etc. And then she showed her around in the town. She ordered her to go around in the town. So the young men, they will follow her to her home, hoping that we will hunt some young men of Quraysh. And this is not a Shia hadith. This is Sunni. But they will say Shia fabricated it. No, they cannot because this is Sunni. Is Shia. No, no, they cannot. They cannot this because because this is this is the problem. They cannot say this is Shia because this is Sunni resource. They cannot. They cannot. Yeah. Yeah. But if you know, imagine if the Muslim books saying such a thing about their prophet wife, Muslim Sunni who almost worship Muhammad and his family, and they, they defend Aisha like crazy. If this is in their books, I mean. 
how in the world you can accept that that Aisha she was a woman who uh, uses slave girls who they are young so young men they will follow the slave girl to her house so she sleep with them I mean I know it's crazy and you know the story of Al-Ifq right uh, the, the about, yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard of it yeah uh -huh. Uh, you know, Safwan ibn Mu'attal, he slept with her and they get three witnesses and then still Muhammad, he don't want to accept that he, his, his wife is sleeping around and this is very normal to happen. I mean, if you are 50 years older than your wife, imagine. Most Muslims say Islam is a religion of peace. If you kill one person, it's like you killed all my mankind. They, that's the only thing that they know about the Quran. If you no, but this is like, not this is not the thing that happened in Morocco. No, this cannot be Islam because if you kill someone innocent, it's like you killed all mankind and they will keep quoting that sort of but no my friend that, you're referring that verse you know, it's all bullshit. that verse is not even for the muslims that verse it says that this is was an order to musa is not to muhammad yeah you know this is for the jews the jews musa is the law of musa is that if somebody killed a person as if he killed all mankind but muhammad he said this is why it says in front of us actually you know but the problem is people don't read and they don't even uh, think carefully and on the account you are denied for the children of Israel. This is not for the Muslims. This is an order was given to the Jews that if somebody killed one person as if he killed all mankind. But isn't it Muhammad? He says, kill them wherever you find them, slaughter them, cut their fingertips. And the three that are going to speak, there is a Jew behind you in the day kill of... Uh, yeah, yeah. Kill him, yeah. Right. I mean, that hadith was so funny. And I heard that... Uh, I could not stop laughing. So how many years now you are out of Islam, my friend? I mean, I would say like a year or two. Did you watch my videos before that date, before you leave Islam? No, it was before, but... Man, watching I lost the blessing. See, guys, I lost the blessing. This is a Muslim who did not leave Islam because of me. I'm upset now. <laughs> you definitely confirmed it for me. After watching your videos, I'm, I'm at a peace of mind, like... I'm obviously right for leaving. Uh, okay, so I, conf for I confirmed you're leaving. <laughs> yeah, you Before I still had done, but watching Christian Prince, I'm 100% out of this. All right, that's good for I you. I no longer uh, enjoy virgins. Good, good for you. Of you. <laughs> I mean, what version? I mean, this is stupid. What version? I mean, well, you see, 70 years orgasm. So, I, I mean, go... isn't that a great 70 years? Huh? 70 years orgasm, you believe it? I mean, this is stupid. What? Why you want to have 70 years orgasm? And I mean, what the... And, <laughs> and, Christian and, 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 during, and during the 70 years orgasm, the rest of the wives doing what? Watching? <laughs> <laughs> she can cook for you. So, guys, when the husband, he have 70 years orgasm, now he have 80,000 women, he have orgasm with one. Okay, that's mean there is 79... Thousand and nine 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 hundred ninety nine women. They are waiting for him for seventy years just to finish his orgasm. And they come like next year, husband. Are you finished orgasm yet? No, no. He is going like okay. And they come this the year after. They come ten years after, five, ten years, fifteen years after, twenty years after, thirty years after, forty years after, fifty years after, sixty years after, seventy years. If he's done. <laughs> All right, Christian Prince, I have to thank you because I still have to do some tasks. All right, my friend. But I sent you a video like from um, from a, a animation that they made about Allah and Muhammad in Arabic. Also have one in Mor Moroccan dialect. You have to watch it. Definitely, you have to watch it. All right, my friend. It's a YouTube link. All right, thank you very much for calling. Take care. Yeah. Take care, Christian Prince. Bye -bye. Oh, boy. Orgasm for 70 years. I mean, why why Allah is being cheap? Why don't make it 100 years? I mean, what you will lose? Just only 70 years. It's not even fair. I mean, we, we, we men even will not even feel it. 70 years only. Are you are you stupid or what? Make it 70 million years. What you will lose? You are Allah, you can't do anything. Make it 70 million year orgasm. What's wrong?
استغفر الله العظيم الحمد لله وبسم الله والحمد you know you heard the Muslims saying those things but nobody knows even knows what he's talking about بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على محمد ولا لا 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 اللهم if oh Allah open my eyes and let my tongue run and you know that but the second you ask him a question he start cursing you. They give you a long speech before they start speaking about their prophet. The second you ask a question about their prophet, they have no idea what they are talking about. Do you remember yesterday, the the first program in the morning we have? There's a guy he called me in the beginning. Let, let me let me go there. Hold on. Let me go there. Because he is terrified. You know the 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 the, the reason they don't let me talk because they are terrified. They are terrified I'm going to hit them. So what do they do? They start talking, 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 talking. Okay, let me talk, man. Can you please let me talk? No, I cannot. Let me see if I... I hope my internet is not going to be slow. Abraham heard him. Let us see when, the prophet, when, when this so guy. Is I going. want you to swear like your God, Allah. Here we go, Abdul. No problem. But however, I want to focus today. He will call me now. Here we go. Okay, look like we have a Muslim. Hello. Hello. <coughs> okay, my voice. All right. Hold on a second. So maybe this is not the guy. There's other one. But I know one, by the way. Okay, my friend, do you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. How are you? All right, I'm all right. What do you want to say to us, my friend? Actually, uh, first of all, and you are Arabic, I think. I want to actually. You notice right away how nervous his voice is. He is terrified. He is in pal talk, and he wanted to show the girls in pal talk how he can call a Christian prince himself. I will call him right now and you will see what will happen. Look what happened. To say congratulations for your dead God, okay? Christmas. For my what? Okay. Dead God. Your dead God. My God is dead? Who said that yeah. to you? Who said that to you? Jesus. Jesus, your God or no? Yeah, he's dead, but he's dead as I know he's yes. alive. No, he's not alive. He dead naked in your uh, in, in, in the cross. Yes or no? Mm, yes or so no. your prophet was a liar because the prophet of Islam says he was not. No, no, I said about you, your belief. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, but so, and, 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 and I'm saying about no, your, your, your belief too. So, what, 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 so what, 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 what you are saying to me that, that, that Jesus, Jesus is dead, but if you, you yourself, you don't believe that he's dead. So are you okay. lying or what? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So let us make it clear. Is Jesus dead or not? Be honest. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I, I want you, you to be honest. Be a man, be a man. Okay. Is Jesus dead or listen, not? If he is not balls, dead, if he is not dead, why not? Why not? Listen to me. Hmm. Listen to me. If, you, if you have balls, if you have balls. Okay. I don't have balls. I, I, because I don't I have balls, I, I'm, I, I gave them to Allah. Do, do Allah have balls? Do Allah have balls? Do Allah have balls? Be careful when you say and you speak to Christian prince. Anything you use is going to be used against you. Be careful. They have balls. The yeah, bulls. <laughs> are we going to have sex or what? I'm not sure what the boss is about. Listen, listen. Why you are talking about the language of balls? Do Allah have I a balls? Hmm? Listen, I have actually flu. Okay. Uh -huh. I have actually I hear that you are a filthy person. Wallah al you heard that? Many people why? 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 Why you think I'm a filthy person? Explain to us. Explain to us why. I am here to debate you, okay? I am here to debate you. When I said your dad is dead, according to your Prove belief, it. Prove it. Yeah, prove it. Yeah. Okay. In Christian faith, mm. they say that God died for their for their sins. Mm. Yes or no? Mm. And is that true? And it says that that the Messiah is in heaven right now. Uh, he's alive, right? Yeah. Uh, so so your God, so your God, he never died. Your God never died. No, yeah, your God actually. Okay. Died. Well, never. Our God never died too. Our God never died. According, according, according. My friend, let me explain to you. <laughs> let me explain to you, balls guy. Let me explain to you. We Christian believe that they killed the flesh of the man, but nobody can kill God. God is always alive. And this is why in your in your cult, even in your in your yellow pages book, the Quran, Jesus is still alive. 
That is the flesh of the man. They cannot kill God. Nobody can kill God. Nobody, my friend, nobody can kill God. Okay, I'm going with your logic. I'm going with logic. Listen, we cannot talk in the same time. Let's, let us let us let us have a conversation. Abdul, 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 no problem. Okay, Abdul, let us. Your, your, your name is what? Your name is what? Stinger, Stinger. Stinger or Samir? Yeah, Samir. Samir, my uh, nickname. Anyway. Ah, so, so your 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 mom, she called you Stinger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? I sting the, no, no, no. Because I break the, the cross, and I sting. Oh, the you broke the cross. I'm okay, sting. that's yeah, good. I broke. Okay, listen, listen. That's a good okay. thing. Okay. You said you claim that anyone have a question, hmm. just call you. Yes or no? Especially for Muslims. Am I wrong? Okay. Am I wrong? Okay. 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 What is your question? Okay. What is your question? My question is. When you become murdered, hmm. okay, and leave Islam, hmm. you say you said that Islam is not sense. Yes or no? Not making Islam any is sense. what? Yes or no? Islam what? Not making any, not making any sense. No, it makes sense okay. because the Prophet he promised us to have endless penis, and that makes sense. Okay, okay. Now, hmm. are you you go back to insulting? I am not I'm not insulting. insulting. It's what your Prophet okay. said. I mean, why you are okay. saying if I say what your Prophet said is an okay. insult? Now, are you saying your Prophet now, is making fun I of you? Listen, but now I want you to prove me, okay, mm -hmm. that the Christianity is uh, correct. Me as Muslim, maybe I will follow Christianity, just like you. Okay, okay. okay. Prove me why the God, your God, get killed mm. naked in the cross. Okay. If that makes sense more okay. than... Uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, let, let, let me ask second, you. Okay. Second. Mm. No, no, Mahu. Mahu, Mahu. 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 <laughs> Mahu. Listen, listen. Mahu. Listen to me. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I swear, swear, swear. You, you swear by what? You swear by what? You, you swear by what? Okay, let, okay. As long as you swear by Allah, why you don't swear by the fig like your God? No, I want you to be honest with me. I want you to swear like your God, Allah, by the fig. I want you to hold the fig in the front of you because obviously your God. Listen, we are talking. We are talking, my friend. We are talking. Did your God Allah swear by the fig? Did your God Allah swear by the fig? Why you are swearing by Allah? Are you better than Allah? Why you don't swear by the fig? I want you to swear by fig before we start debating. I want you to swear. I want you to say, I swear by the fig. Please, my friend. Your God, he swear by the fig. Why you don't swear by the fig? Why you run away from my question? I'm not running. I'm just asking you to, in the beginning, before we start, to swear by the fig. Can you swear by the fig, my friend? Can you swear by the fig? Now, we all Christians, ladies and gentlemen. In the back by the way, okay. Mm. He, I am not a gentleman. Person, I am not a gentleman. God, okay. He cannot even answer my question. Who? Who? What question is? Question. What is the question? You did not ask me the question. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but my friend, ago, since you called me, okay. since you called me, you did not said, shut up. You did not, you since you called me, you did not shut up to answer you. Nah, you, Yanni. Yanni, <laughs> Yanni, <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, do you want me to answer you? Okay, let me answer you. Are you going to shut up so I can answer you? Are you going to shut up? Are you? You see, see. Here we go, the guys. Did, did he did, did he say the f word? Did he say the? F <laughs> you see, because he is afraid I will answer. You see, he's just there just to say and call names, and but he's afraid to shut up his mouth because if he shut up his mouth, I would answer. Have you ever heard of a god he swear by fig? I swear by the fig and the olive. I swear, yes, I swear, I swear by the tuna and the sardine. I swear, yes, I do. I swear by the apple and banana. I swear. <laughs> Oh boy, you know, when somebody claimed to be God and yet he swear by a fig, obviously there is something wrong with this God. I'm so glad that Allah, he never heard of the coconut because no, no, the, the problem will be first, he will not be able to pronounce the name correctly, like Polus became Nunos. Do you remember the other day we showed you where, where the guy, the Indian guy, the friend of Zakir Naik? To read for us from Muqatil interpretation, and we find that the name of Bulos became Nunos. Hey Nunos, how are you? I am Bulos. No, you are Nunos. <laughs> they cannot quote any name correctly. Isa, Jesus became Isa. Mary is the, the sister of Aaron. Aaron is the son of Omron. 
Amran is the father of Mary. Abraham is the son of Azar. I mean, it's a messed up religion. Not a single name is correct. Yeah, well, get my books, my friend, about sex. I have my book, Sex and Allah. If you are looking for those hadith about those things, my book, Sex and Allah, is in Amazon. You can get endless reference about sexuality in Islam. But be careful, you might get crazy. <laughs> it's two volume, volume number one and volume number two. All right. Above, I will show you some reference here about what we were talking about because one of you is asking me where we can find that this is 80,000 thing, you know, the 80,000 female and the 80,000 boy. All right. If we go, let us open the reference. <coughs> <laughs> All right, we go to the screen. Jami al Turmudi. The least of the people. Who is the one talking, Muhammad? And you know, when Muhammad you say something, it must be true. The least of the people in the position is the one position of what paradise. Which means, if you are a really, really a bad Muslim, this is the least position. Uh, with 80,000 servant and this is one of the hadith by the way and shall have and 72 wives and he shall have a tent of pearl by the way in the Middle East all of us we have tent of pearls I mean we would have that uh, because we don't like normal tent it's proven that it is more solid and you can like if there is a hurricane if you live in Florida now what is your biggest concern hurricane you know or tornado or something like that but if you have a house made from pearl I mean that's it you are safe and secure and you are good to go and this is scientifically accurate you know look like in the heaven of Allah there's a so 80,000 made from a house will fit 80,000 little boy and it's made from pearl Okay, let us continue. And then, and cardin, crandom, crandom, I don't know even how to pronounce the words here. Set up for him the size of which like which between al jabia and sana'a jabia supposedly is a place in the suburb of damascus in syria sana'a is in yemen the room of every muslim which is made from pearl is in the size of like two thousand mile so you come to my house in the heaven you need to drive, you, you have to walk in your camel 2,000 miles to arrive to my bed. Because there's no way I'm going to put them, my beds right away in the front of the door. This is how far the room from Yemen. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me show you what we are talking about. Because maybe until now, some of you did not get the idea yet. Hold on. I know all of you are smart. There is no question about that. But maybe you know some. If, if you don't know too much about uh, geography, because we are Arab, we are the one who made geography. By the way, and Shakespeare, he was an Arab. His name, his real name, is Shakespeare. This is true. Yeah, we are the one who made Algebra too. But the guy, his name, the one who made Algebra too, he's a Zidi. He's not an Arab, and he is not a Muslim. Anyway, okay. Let us see. All right, let's use this map and let us put it for you in the screen. All right, look with me, please. This is the Middle East map. Let me zoom in, zoom out actually, because we cannot take the whole thing. This is the earth. 
And now look the size of your room in the heaven of Allah. Brother, brother, you will not believe it, brother. A brother, the size of your room in the heaven of Allah, your bedroom, brother, is going to be from here. Read with me carefully, please. Please, please. By the way, a Muslim, he said to me, uh, you don't even know how to pronounce anything. I did made it there in purpose, anything. Ask me anything, not anything. Because this, this like this guy, he just called me, you know, listen how they pronounce thing. They don't say thing, anything. So anyway, uh, your room, brother, is from Damascus. Here is Damascus. All the way to Sana'a in Yemen. I mean, this is a small. You know what? I think I have to open Google Earth in order to measure it. Should we measure it, guys? At least we will know the size of our house, so we can, you know, we can order the right furniture, especially for ladies. Ladies, they don't like to go to a house right away. They have to measure the furniture, how big the dining room, the couches. I mean, obviously, the house is so small. This is only the the, the size of your house. That only. This is disgusting. I'm really disappointed. Okay, let us open Google Earth. Hold on. Because we cannot measure it. The problem with Google Earth, if you do uh, open it, it's slow your uh, internet. But I hope I we will not lose <clears throat> too much speed. <coughs> let us open Google Earth. Okay, Google Earth is opening. All right. All right, here we go. We are going in Google Earth. All right. Okay. So now we are going to do the following. We are going to measure. This is Damascus. Al Jabia is in Damascus. All right. So this is Damascus. We are going to put a mark here. Uh, let us see. Place a mark. Add a place mark. We move it here. And we call it Al Jabia. Type in Arabic, hold on. Hey, I don't know, it's not giving a name. I gave it a name anyway. It's okay. So now we have a mark, and now oh, the mark is disappearing. Okay, you now what let us do here? Uh, direction from here, uh, from here to there. Okay, from here. Then we go all the way to Yemen. All the way to Yemen. Okay, this is Yemen. Where is Sana'a? This is Sana'a, to here. Bingo. Let us see, brothers and sisters, how that will work for us, brother. Okay. We are going to do this. Okay, what is the distance? Read with me carefully, please. 2,785 kilometer only. 2,785 kilometer the distance between the beginning of your room and the end of your room. And you are telling me that you are not convinced that Allah is God? I mean, what's wrong with you? If Allah is not God, how he can construct big rooms like this for 1.6 billion plus all those who die? And the Muslim, by the way, they can add in numbers. Like uh, a few months ago, they were 1.4. Two months after, they became 1.6. Wait until the next the six months from now, they will say we are 2 billion. Just wait. <clears throat> I mean, that's really nice. All my life, I wanted to have a big room. 
and now I'm really disappointed. I mean, look at look how big this room. It is it is Syria, the size of uh, Yemen, and Saudi Arabia, and Jordan, and Israel, and Lebanon, and uh, a quarter of Syria all together is just one bedroom. Hmm? What do you want more? You must be crazy not to convert to Islam and get a room like this. How much is going to cost you to buy a room like this? Think about it and made it from pearls. And all uh, you know, not only that, the Quran says that the floor of your room is made from zafaron. Anyone knows what zafaron is? What zafaron? Imagine, guys, zafaron. You will be licking the floor there, <laughs> and there's gold. And there is even rubies and pearls in the floor all over. It's like the dirt of the heaven, brother. And by the way, uh, uh, Muhammad, he said, uh, that a human being, when he go to heaven, he will be 10 times uh, Richer, more ten times richer than any king. And then I said to myself, I will be ten times more rich than any king in the earth. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But what I would do with the money there? I mean, isn't this is heaven? So are you saying to me in heaven there's someone is Bill Gate and someone he is have no gate in his house? Is that the situation? If everybody became ten times more king than any rich any king in the world, rich more than any king, uh, then we need to ask what does that mean? I mean, if everything is for free, but the surprise is not everything for free in heaven. Muhammad said. That in the heaven, there is uh, a market. In this market, there is no buying nor selling. Except magazine. Magazine of what? Magazine have pictures of men and women and if you like to have sex with any of it you enter the magazine But obviously you have to pay Before you can get into such a fantasy Let us exit Google fantasy and go to something uh, More uh, more important More important brother Let us see Indeed, indeed, brother, indeed. You know, when the prophet, he say indeed, that's mean it's true. Brother, indeed, chapter on description of the paradise. And the funny Muhammad, he says, nobody can describe paradise, but let me describe paradise for you. So supposing nobody can describe paradise. But Muhammad is giving us details about the size of the penis, the size of the room, the color of the floor, what is in the floor. What is in the couches? What the clothes you will wear? What is the color of the clothes? But yet nobody can describe paradise, brother. I mean, focus with me, brother. Focus with me. <laughs> brother, nobody can describe. Do you remember the, the video of uh, uh, the description of paradise made by the Dean Show? The title of the video is The Description of Paradise. And the guy is coming from Al-Azhar University, and there's an idiot who is a convert to Islam. He is asking him, Brother, can you come, uh, explain to us paradise? Describe it for us. And then the Imam, he says, first of all, the Quran says nobody can describe the paradise for you. Because you cannot imagine. Your brain cannot imagine. Your eyes cannot imagine. And then right away after he finished the sentence, he said, now let me describe the paradise for you. Like you idiot, you just said nobody can describe it. You just said nobody can describe it, and now you are saying to me, let, it, let me describe the paradise for you. 
that what I call the special Islamic intelligence. And here Muhammad he says, brother and sister, indeed in the market, in the paradise there's a market. Question, why in the paradise there's a market? Who is the Muslim? He have super, super intelligence made like, you see, I think the brain of Muslims is made from tefal. Nothing stuck there. To be honest with you, look like nothing stuck in their brain. It doesn't matter what you teach them, nothing stuck. It's tefal. Ladies, do you have tefal at home? None stuck, none stick uh, cook. They have a brain painted by tefal. In the heaven, there's a market to do what? When you say, <laughs> when you say market, it's mean place we buy and sell. All right, let it go, man. Let it go. They fell, brain. They fell. Okay, in the paradise, brother, there is a market which let us change the color here. Hold on, market, huh? All right, indeed. And when Muhammad he say indeed, this means things is messed up. That's it. In, he just said, indeed. Come on, look, come on. Like, are you kidding me? This, did you see indeed? Indeed. In paradise, there is a market which there is no buying nor selling except, which means, yes, there is buying and selling, but only for one product. You see, guys, the first business who is specialized in a specific business, which is sex, is Allah. He have a market in paradise and this market no buying nor selling except sex I mean is it amazing and we continue except for images of men and women <clears throat> images of who men and women what the heck? Playboy magazine? It was not made by the American. Not by the guy, the, the filthy guy from Los Angeles. It was by Allah a long time before. Look, Muhammad, 1400 years. You see, if I, if I am Muhammad, I will sue that guy because this is my idea. Hmm. So the magazine have images of men and women. So whenever a man, whenever who? A man, a man. Take a note about this man. We will go back to it. Desire an image, he enter it. If, 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 if. What they call them, those new movies? S, E, F, what, what? U, F, U, F, O. What they call them? The, uh, fictions movies? You see an image. I saw that in the movie once. Like there's an image. You go inside the image. It became real. Like this. It's called like I think the movie is called the time travel, something like this. So there is an image in the market. And then, brother, the image you like, you enter it and have six whoever inside. S C I F I. I mean, why they are making it long? Okay, let us go to the hadith. It's easier to read for me. It's in Arabic. So you see the image, but look who is the customer. The customer is a man. But the images of what? Is images of men and women. <laughs> In the heaven of Allah, you will have sex with men. Men, they will have sex with men. And the proof in front of you, who is the customer? It is a man. Who is the client? Or let us say, who is the who is the the, the, the one doing service? Images of men and women. I don't know. I, I, I mean, if you don't like to convert to Islam after this, I mean, obviously you have a problem, my friend. Right? I need to see the hadith of 80,000 wife and 70 years orgasm. Well, yeah, okay, we can show you the height, no problem. Are you a Muslim, my friend, uh, Nita? Are you a Muslim? 
who is a Muslim wanna call me and challenge me to show him the hadith about 80,000 80, wife and uh, 70 years orgasm any Muslim may they may they may they hello hello it's me you are looking for no me look like the Muslims are not really too much confident with their cult hmm I see any Abdul Who is the Muslim when I call us? Anyone? Look like the Muslims are not really too much proud about their prophet. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know even why you guys are not even converting to Islam until now. Can you find something better than this? Anyone? What happened? Why, you know, why the Muslims are not calling us? What is the problem? What is the problem? I wish you guys you know Arabic I can play some videos for you actually I can play and they will they will claim copyright over them but you will see how stupid this cult is anyone by the way I'm really thankful for those who make donation even though I don't mention your name but I'm sure you're not waiting for me to say thank you uh, but really we appreciate your help and actually I notice that there is some of you they make donation each time I go on a, on online uh, I'm not going to mention their names but I can see them always uh, and I, I want to be sure that you guys are not are doing the right thing you know I don't want you to spend your money if you need it please if you are making a donation every time I go online don't make a donation unless you can afford it. Hello? Salam. Salam, my friend. How are you? Uh, not good, unfortunately. Why? Um, so I, uh, I got some death threats because of your video. Oh, that's nice. Not really. Why? <laughs> Well, I, don't, don't you know that they will do that? If you, you know, I mean, uh, are you posting under your real name? Um, yes. Why you do that? No, you should not do that. But anyway, it's okay. Don't worry. People who make the threat, my friend, they don't do what they say. If somebody, I mean, if, if somebody want to kill me, he will not go and tell me I want to kill you. You know. Maybe. Yeah. Well, I, I received that threat forever. 
and you yeah. know uh, but it's a, a a person who want to kill you he will not tell you i'm coming to kill you i mean come on this would be stupid even to say right yeah but that, that doesn't stop them before though that's what that has never stopped them before though yeah but in before, before is different like if you live in an islamic country that's possible because they can get away with it but not if you are abroad there's too many things they have to be worried about yeah okay yeah don't make, right, don't make them intimidate you my friend because this is the point of death threat is to make you intimidated get to make you get scared yeah you know and you sure. the second you get scared this means they win yeah yeah sure and then you don't talk i don't talk and everybody don't talk because everybody's scared and this is the whole point sure yeah anything okay. else you want to say my friend that's it thank you okay take care So I was talking about donation. Please, those who always donate, be sure that you don't make a donation unless you have, uh, like, you know, I don't want you to spend your money in something maybe your children need. All right? And I notice that maybe even some of you, they are making donations just to make others, to remind them to donate to me. Uh, you know, I understand you're trying to help and because I don't mention and I don't talk about it. But you, you know, I mean, I don't know. I, uh, be careful. Don't donate unless really you can make it. I don't want. Don't be smart. Don't make a donation if your if your family need the money. Don't worry. The Lord will provide me. All right. So please don't make a donation unless you can really afford it. All right. Uh, because I notice that some of you always when I go on air. I'm not going to say the names they knew themselves always when I go on air they make they make uh, donations and I can tell that there's those those wonderful people they are trying to do that to remind people to to help but my friend you did your part don't keep making donation all right because at the end of the month maybe you donate uh, okay five dollars here etc but after a month there will be uh, there will be a number Unless you can afford it, there's a different story. Just be careful, my friend. All right. And thank you again for those who make donation and they help us. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you know, yeah, there is there is some people who they already have a very good heart, but they are very poor. I remember once a lady, she sent me a donation. Okay. And then, you know, um, she apologized. She cannot uh, come to, uh, you know, to help in the chat room, etc. And then she said she is fixing her house. And then she sent me pictures. And guys, I, I she broke my heart when I saw her, 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 the place she live in. This poor woman, she's really poor. And I was really upset. Because this poor woman, she is taking from her own money and send it to me. And I insist I want to send you them. I should I should donate for you, not you donate for me. But this is why there are some people, they have a really amazing, amazing heart. And look, she is really, really poor. I can't even describe to you how poor her place is. It's like not a place. It's not even a house. And she was making donation. So there is some people who they have they have an amazing heart, but we should not you know we should be smarter and we should do the right thing. All right. Now let us see. We have a Muslim here. It's called Muslim United. I know the English. I will do with English. All right. <laughs> this guy want to debate me. <coughs> And he have a he have a he have a didat picture in his profile. Yes, yeah, sir. You want to debate me? You don't want to answer. Why you don't answer? Tell me the time you can do it now. What time? No, no. What what time? Oh, 
why Muslims always they need to prepare and hmm. look like he's fake. He start making excuses now. He will tell me that his donkey. Uh, Alicia saying to me, where is the hadith 80,000 wife and 70 years orgasm stop line? Okay, Alicia, why you don't call me? Let us call Alicia. Hello. Hey, hey, Alicia, how are you? Who is this? Oh, I don't know. You you text me saying to me you want the hadith. Aren't you the one? Habi. I, I received a text from your Skype saying you want me to show you the hadith about the 80,000 wives. Maybe someone else using your account. Oh, sorry. This is her sister. Oh, okay. No problem. Take care. Her sister. All right. Oh, boy. It's her sister. Do we have any Muslim want to call us? Any Muslim? Yes, no. Mm -hmm. I wonder how, I wonder why. Hmm. <clears throat> Anyone? I'm really convinced that Islam must be from the true God because the promises of Allah, it's really full of fantasy and will satisfy the need of any man and women, which is really beautiful. Hello? Hello, hi CP. Hey my friend, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. I just called to wish you a Merry Christmas and to, to say you thanks a lot of what you're doing. Uh, thank you, my friend. And uh, I, I will try to, to call you yesterday and uh, I had a question for you, but uh, now uh -huh. it's not uh, okay. actual. You know. No problem. Well, thank you very much for calling and I wish you the best of Merry Christmas to you. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Try, guys, when you call me, not to have a background music in the back. You know. Yeah. All right. Look like this guy wanna call me again soon. The guy who wanna debate me. why you are afraid why uh, no he's not afraid but you know muslims are very people who they are very people who respect their family and tradition so most of muslims they cannot call me unless they ask permission from their mom as an example shabir ali he respect his mother so he will not call me never unless his mom she say you can call a christian prince very respectful for people same as zakar naik what what he can do i mean if the mom if mom she said no what he can do? Yeah, they have to ask the mom, especially uh, uh, if, if the mom from the Middle East, where you know, the, our 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 female are dangerous. According to study, that number one injury in Morocco and Algeria is domestic violence, but not men beating women. It is women beating men, and I am not joking. Number one problem: domestic, domestic violence, women beating men. 
like when you hear domestic violence right away you think it's a man beating the woman right the Quran even says you can beat your wife right but not for those All right. Please help me to debate this guy. Let him call me. If any of you have somebody want to debate, let him call me so we can love together. Any Muslim? What women beat in men? I was saying that in the Middle East there is a big problem of women beating their husbands the Quran and Islam allowed in the man to beat his wife but the reality mostly is the opposite Muslim women is the one who beat their husbands you know uh, Muslim women mostly they are big they grow really big and if the man he have more than one wife uh, obviously they can beat the hell of you easy Imagine, especially if you have four women and each one of them is like 300 kilograms. If they fought at you, they are dead. Like, be they are gone. That's it. You know? Four women and four mother-in-law. So you imagine what will happen to you. Even Muhammad, you remember the story of Muhammad? What happened to Muhammad when he fought with his wife? Look what happened. Let me show you. Domestic violence inside the house of Muhammad. Muhammad... He was in very bad shape. Let me. Uh, maybe I should log in of uh, from Skype because I keep receiving text, but nobody is calling anyway. Look, the two wives of Muhammad they have a problem with Muhammad. So what Muhammad did? He made a, a verse saying that Allah told him that. Okay, what Allah he told you? Read with me carefully. And I changed the Muslim to say I'm making things up. Uh, if you too turn repentance to him, if you too, you know, you too, you should turn repentance to Allah. Why? Because they have a fight with Muhammad. Your heart are indeed inclined. But if you back each other against him, him who? Muhammad. Truly, truly, Allah is his protector. If, 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 if. And Jibreel, look what, 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 like the fight is getting bigger. Two females, they are in a fight with Muhammad. And now Muhammad is warning them. Allah is my protector. And Jibreel. And not only that, every single righteous believer, Qaeda, ISIS, Hamas, I mean, you name it, all of them, they will join the fight, supporting Muhammad. And everyone among the believers, Shabir Ali, uh, Zakir Naik, uh, the, the, everybody, uh, Muhammad Hijab, Allah, he pray for, not to show me, show me, uh, silence me. And furthermore, all the angels, all of this to fight two women. He have a fight with two women, they are five foot tall. You need all of this? To protect you from two women? You tell me what kind of women those women are, if they are not scary. I'm serious. You tell me what kind of two women Muhammad he need Allah and Jibreel and every believer and all and and, uh, and furthermore all the angels who is left. The whole universe is involved in the fight. And you are telling me they are not aggressive. You know, I want to marry Muslim women for sure. This is chapter 66, verse number four. Guys, our women in the Middle East are very dangerous. Imagine this. The two wives of the Prophet walking down the street. They're big. And Muhammad like, don't, don't get closer. Okay? Don't get closer. I'm warning you. Allah, Allah is my protector. And every, every Muslim believer uh, and, and not only that, Jibreel, Jibreel is coming. Look, look, look Jibreel, Jibreel is coming. Uh, 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 and, and, and furthermore, all the angels. What the heck? And you are telling me that Muslim women are not scary? Don't you see who's involved in this fight? 
to fight two women what if they are th what if the 13 decide to attack Muhammad what Muhammad will ask for based on this the army of Indonesia will join the army of uh, uh, Pakistan will join nuke with they might use nuke now the, the uh, Pakistan have a small nuke you know uh, uh, and uh, the army of uh, Saudi Arabia, the army of uh, Sudan, the army of Morocco, the army of uh, Algeria. I mean, everybody will protect the Prophet. How dare you? Anyway, my friend, I advise you to marry a Muslim woman. Just for the sake of security, because if Muslim woman, she can scare the hell of Muhammad like this. So imagine if she is your bodyguard. That's it. Allah himself will not get close because Allah alone cannot do the fight. You see, when Muhammad he says Allah and every and Jibreel, that's mean Allah alone is not enough. Correct? I mean, isn't it enough to have Allah if Allah is God? What do you mean Allah and uh, his protector and Jibreel? What what what, what Jibreel is about? If you just said Allah, what, what Jibreel? And then every righteous believer, wh wh why you need them? You have Allah already and you have Jibreel. No, no, no. And furthermore, all the angels. Guys, I see the angels coming from far away. Angel number one, angel number two, angel number three, four, five, six, seven, seven thousand, ten thousand, one million, ten million, five million, one billion, seventy million. The angels keep coming, man. I mean, this is a big fight. Two female women, they are five foot tall, but look what they are, they are doing. I mean, this is, I'm telling you, brother, our women are the best. Forget about the rest. Now I understand why Muhammad in this story he said that Al Hudhud, the bird, he was looking for a woman, she have no hair in her legs. <laughs> Obviously, they are really scary at that time, man. Me the bird he was flying over the galaxy, finding a woman, she have no hair in her legs. It's very hard to find that. You know, it's impossible. Look like uh, at that time, women they used to be like chimpanzee, right? Uh, anyway, uh, I think we will have enough for today, and we will try to be on air tomorrow. I want to say thank you for everybody, and thank you for those who join us always and subscribe. And thank you for those who support us with their donation. Uh, we appreciate you. And we wish you the best of the time. But always remember one thing. Yes, Islam is stupid. Yes, Islam is funny. But Islam is dangerous. So don't think about it as a comedy show. We heard just two days ago how a bunch of filthy idiot they kidnapped two girls and they behead them. So you have to put in your mind that this is not a comedy. Yes, we laugh. Yes, it's stupid, but it is dangerous. So we have a duty, all of us, for your security to fight this cult. It's your security involved. And when we say your security, it means you might lose your job because of Islam. When 9-11 happened, many companies almost they faced bankruptcy. Airlines stopped even flying. They have a national impact. So don't think it. this is like a joke. Now, right now, every country in the world has spent billions of dollars for security just because of Islam, from your money. And instead of building schools, hospitals, having better life, well, now we are spending billions and trillions of dollars just for security because of terrorism, specifically because of Islam. So don't think that this is a joke. Your life is impacted big time. Now you are worried about going to the Christmas market because of Islam. So when you fight this cult, you are not just having fun as we it looked like. It is your safety and your security. Even your retirement plan might disappear because your government might spend the money over fighting this cult. And sadly, they are not fighting the cult, actually. They are fighting terrorists, which means you are not fighting the reason. 
the reason of terrorism is not the terrorist it is the, the cult until now they don't listen and they are not hearing us Islam is the problem not the terrorist the terrorists are are, are, are the fruits of Islam fight terrorism by fighting terrorism teaching not the terrorist only a terrorist are exist now for what what is the reason to make them terrorists did you ask yourself because of those books because of Muhammad teaching because of his promises fight the ideology then you are victorious against terrorism killing a terrorist will will bring 10 terrorists tomorrow as long as people believe in this cult I hope people are listening and they understand what I'm saying. Thank you again for watching and for being with us. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you maybe tomorrow again soon. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. Thank you very much.